what impressive thing is biology do, doing to you that computers are not yet? That gap. I would say I'm definitely on, I'm much more hesitant with the analogies to the brain than I think you would see potentially in the field. Um, and I kind of feel like certainly the way neural networks started is everything stemmed from inspiration of the bra- by the brain. But at the end of the day, the artifacts that you get after training, uh, they are arrived at by a very different optimization process than the optimization process that gave rise to the brain. And so I think uh, I kind of think of it as a very complicated alien artifact. Um, it's the something brain? different. Uh, the no, sorry, the, uh, the neural nets that we're training. Okay. They are complicated uh, alien artifact. Uh, I do not make analogies to the brain because I think the optimization process that gave rise to it is very different from the brain. So there was no multi-agent self-play kind of uh, setup uh, and evolution. <laughs> it was an optimization that is basically a what amounts to a yeah. compression objective on a massive amount of data. Okay, so artificial neural networks are doing compression and biological neural networks are not, trying to survive. And they're not really doing anything. They're, <laughs> they're an agent in a multi-agent self-play system that's been yeah. running for a very, very long yes. time. That said, Evolution has found that it is very useful to to predict and have a predictive model in the brain. And so I think our brain utilizes something that looks like that as, as a part of it, but it has a lot more you know, gadgets and gizmos and uh, value functions and ancient nuclei that are all trying to like make you survive and reproduce and everything else. And the whole thing through embryogenesis is built from a single cell. I mean, it's just the code is inside the DNA. Mm. And it just builds it up like the entire organism with it's arms, totally crazy. And the head <laughs> and legs. Yes. And like it does it pretty well. It should I, not be possible. So there's some learning going on. There's some there's some there's some kind of computation going through that building process. I mean, I, I don't know where if you were just to look at the entirety of history of life on Earth, where do you think is the most interesting invention? Is it the origin of life itself? Is it just jumping to eukaryotes? Is it mammals? Is it humans themselves, homo sapiens? Mm-hmm. The, the the origin of intelligence or highly complex intelligence? Or, what you, what, <laughs> or is it all just a continuation of the same kind of process? Mm. Certainly I would say it's an extremely remarkable story that I'm only like briefly learning about recently. Uh, all the way from, um, actually like, you almost have to start at the formation of Earth and all of its conditions and the entire solar system and how everything is arranged with Jupiter and moon and the habitable zone and everything. And then you have an active earth that's turning over material. Mm-hmm. And um, and then you start with abiogenesis and everything. And so it's all like a pretty remarkable story. I'm not sure that I can pick like a u- single unique piece of it uh, that I find most interesting. Um, I guess for me as an artificial intelligence researcher, it's probably the last piece. We have lots of animals that uh, you know, are, are not building technological society, but we do. And um, it seems to have happened very quickly. It seems to have happened very recently. And uh, something very interesting happened there that I don't fully understand. I almost understand everything else, kind of, I think intuitively, uh, but I don't understand exactly that part and how quick it was. Both. Explanations would be interesting. One is that this is just a continuation of the same kind of process. There's nothing special about humans. Mm-hmm. That would be deeply understanding. That would be very interesting. That we think of ourselves as special, but it was obvious. All it was already written mm-hmm. in the in the code that you would have greater and greater intelligence emerging. And then the other explanation, which is something truly special happened, something like a rare event whether it's like crazy rare event, like a uh, space odyssey, what would it be? See, if you say like the invention of fire or the, <laughs> uh, as Richard Rangham says, the beta males deciding a clever way to kill the alpha males by collaborating. So just optimizing the collaboration, the really the multi-agent aspect of the multi-agent and that really being constrained on resources and trying to survive the collaboration aspect is what created the complex intelligence. But it, it seems like it's a natural yeah. outgrowth of the evolution process. Like what, yeah. what could possibly be a magical thing that happened, like a rare thing that would say that humans are actually, human level intelligence is actually a really rare thing in the universe? Yeah, I'm hesitant to say that it is rare, by the way, but it definitely seems like 
it's kind of like a punctuated equilibrium where you have um, lots of exploration and then you have certain leaps, sparse leaps in between. Uh, so of course, like origin of life would be one, um, you know, DNA, sex, eukaryotic system, eukaryotic uh, life, um, the endosymbiosis event where the archaeon ate little bacteria, you know, just the whole thing. And then of course, emergence of uh, consciousness and so on. So it seems like definitely there are sparse events where massive amount of progress was made. 